Now, it's funny because we live in a world where expectations and pressure from society is the order of the day. So I know the idea of not caring will definitely carry these negative implications. So take a moment to hear me out. Now, society will condition us to think that caring about what others think, sticking to societal norms and striving for external validation are ways to achieve success and happiness. Now, I'm here to tell you that the counterintuitive approach where when you stop, caring can lead to greater personal freedom that allows you to live the most or your most authentic self. You see, after this moment in my life, after being bombarded with every expectations from society and in African society, it's even worse. And I'm talking about expectations from parents, teachers, friends, and expectations shape the very core of who we are as individuals that alter our behavior, our decisions in life to be in the image of what society has crafted. Trust me, the weight of constantly trying to meet these expectations always lead to stress and anxiety and a reduction of, you know, our sense of worth. Now, let me put it this way, as simple as I can. When you stop caring about fulfilling others' expectations, you release yourself from this burden and allow your true self to emerge. In spirituality, we have the higher self, the spirit self, or the eternal self. Most ancient philosophy in spirituality will teach you about the authentic self. Authenticity is being able to be true to yourself in terms of your values, your beliefs, and even your desires. So I can tell you that that also includes being able to embrace your strengths and acknowledge your weaknesses as well without the fear of judgment. Now, one thing that I look forward to and why I created this channel separate from my other channel is that I also wanted to attract genuine connections and opportunities that will align with my true self and who I truly am. And that is what I aspire for you watching this video. Because me letting go of the need to please others, we create that space for who we truly are, the authentic self, to thrive. Now, you would agree with me that most of us who are able to accept who we are become confident and most times, confidence is all we need to be able to take calculated risk in pursuing our passion. Now, most people who don't apply the power of self-acceptance cannot trust their instincts and make decisions that are in line with their true desire. Rather, you will make decisions based on what others expect of you. Now, I have to be honest that sometimes I do go through this fear of judgment sometimes and trust me, it does swallow my creativity and innovation. Because in most of my travel videos on my other channel, the Royal Heritage channel, anytime I go on trips and create videos that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like always thinking, right, about what my family would think, meaning that I'm concerned about angles that may be too explicit in my travel content when ladies are in their bikinis showcasing certain things that may portray an individual as, you know, too explicit. And now looking back, I regret those decisions because whatever you decide to post, people will still judge you regardless. So allow your creativity to flow without fear of judgment. When you stop caring about what others think, you give yourself permission to think outside the box and explore new ideas. Trust me, this freedom can lead to groundbreaking innovations and creative decisions that you might otherwise have dismissed entirely. Now, at this point in my life, I am less vulnerable to criticisms and rejection because my self-worth is no longer tied to other people's approval. We all go through challenges and setbacks. If you are able to build resilience, the ability to bounce back are quick to enable you to continue pursuing your goals. Now, I saw this Will Smith video on TikTok and I'll play it in a second where he talks about the fact that no amount of material things can give you happiness. And for, you know, most people who are not financially free, well, this will not sit right with them. However, it is my prayer for you that you become financially free if you are watching this video because the thing is, you know, true success is often a reflection of inner fulfillment rather than external accolades and materialism, you know, so watch this video. A quick Google search says mm -hmm. that your net worth is $350 million. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate? Um, I don't even know, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the, uh, this is the downsize phase of my life. But the first half of my life was gather, gather, gather. Mm -hmm. And the second half of my life is going to be give, give, give. give. But what, what happens is you just realize none of it can make you happy once you've bought everything you want and there's literally nothing on earth else that you want to buy you know i just wish that was a gift that everybody could have because there's there's nothing that material can do to satisfy you it's like drinking salt water you now i'm in that that phase of my life when you realize that no relationship no money no kids there's literally nothing that can make you happy that happy is an in 
full frontal contact, you reconcile that you gotta make happy in here. You gotta make happy in here with none of that stuff. Mm. When you stop caring about what society defines as success, which can be toxic in this day and age where the more followers you have, the more successful you are, right? The more gold chains and, you know, flaunting of money on social media you portray, the more social currency you can gather. This can lead to many, you know, you being depressed and causing, you know, anxiety related issues, chasing this, you know, form of social validation. Now it is, it is about time we redefine success in our own terms. And this might mean pursuing a career that brings us more joy and engaging in hobbies that we are passionate about that serves and nourishes our soul. Look, at some point in life, you will realize that the only thing that ever matters is inner peace. Let go of, you know, concerns of striving for approval or the fear of judgment. At this point, look, and this is a work in progress, I am becoming more mindful and content with who I am and what I have. And if you are able to constantly apply these kind of values in your everyday life, that inner peace will radiate outside and impact all areas of your life. Now, I know the idea of not caring can seem a bit radical, but it is also this radical shit that can unlock true power. I say release yourself from external expectations and I say embrace authenticity. Embrace who you are. True power lies in the freedom to be yourself, to pursue your passions without fear and to define success on your own terms. Thanks for watching. My name is Your Heritage. I hope you stay by subscribing. Let's think and grow together to become who we truly are meant to be. And if you stay, I will see you in the next one. Bye.